Now we're going to do something even easier. We're going to convert from binary to decimal. Oh my goodness, even easier. So notice we're going to be given the binary. In this case, the binary is 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Yeah, that's our binary that we are going to convert to decimal. Addition tends to be a lot easier than subtraction for me, so I absolutely love going binary to decimal. It is so easy. We add 128 to 32 to 16 to 8 to 1, and when we do all this addition, we come up with the number 185. We're just taking all of the bit positions where there is a 1 instead of a 0. We're looking at the decimal value in that particular place, and we are adding those numbers up. Once again, we can easily check our work. I'm going to clear out the calculator. I'm going to choose binary this time, and I'm going to enter our, num enter our number in in binary. 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. We enter this number in, and we then click on the decimal radio button. And it says, the number you entered in binary, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, equals 185 in decimal. How awesome. How really, really powerful. And I love, like I said, I love how we can check our work, right? Checking our work is going to be very valuable as we are utilizing this particular uh, methodology. You've got to know that you're absolutely correct before you move on to do any more of the subnetting practices that are going to be required for mastery.